Hello brain lovers, Gregory here from the Brain Academy and look around, look, 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 watch this, it's beautiful weather. <gasps> Spring is here, finally. So oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, watch this, this is amazing. Finally, I've been waiting for this whole winter. It was a long and cold well no actually it wasn't that cold but it felt like it didn't stop raining for the last ever since october and we're in march now so it's been long it's been painful and now we're here with the sun to me this is the most special moment of the year because everything comes back to life and we get finally to get to go back outside as well what i wanted to, to share with you is actually what that does to our brain because imagine this a couple of years ago we had a, a winter like this as well it was long it was gray and a lot of rain and after that when the spring got here i really felt such a big change in myself actually at the end of the winter i really got depressed and i didn't understand that because i was doing everything right i just worked a lot on neurogenesis and its impact on our brain if you've been watching my other videos you know about the famous lmnop right lmnop five basic pillars for a healthy brain love movement novelty omega-3 diet and pauses and sleep and including sleep but there was something missing and that had probably had to do with this so i went in there asked girk to do some serious research and yeah my good friend up there here, here comes, comes the sun. sun he's actually stimulating neurogenesis as well turns out because it's not the sun in say of course it's a vitamin d so lack of vitamin d lowers our neurogenesis which has an impact on how we feel it heightens depression anxiety feelings etc etc so neurogenesis is the key to a healthy brain and vitamin d helps doing that get out in the sunshine and get vitamin d when we end up in those northern climates it's in the more north you go of canada or in the scandinavian countries it's tough because it's a long long time without sun without real sunlight and with the days being way too short to get the vital amount amount of daylight so what we end up doing is we're lacking vitamin d and that has an impact on our neurogenesis turns out by doing that it impacts how we feel and how much energy we have etc etc now you have to understand that during winter it often happens that people just leave their home in the morning they get in their car they go to work they work the whole day long and end up at the end of the day going back home but it's already a night again and the whole day long they're just in there in the office with artificial light and they're not having real daylight and that for weeks and months on end and the more north you go the worse it is yay summer's here awesome best summer ever let's stay friends i live for a while in south america and over there you don't have these seasonal changes you've got like a little more rain or a little less rain basically you've got the rainy season which is actually not even that wet but anyway and that's it the whole year round it just fluctuates like that and you don't have those massive changes we we have here in europe or in northern america so it's very important once we understand how the daylight and the sunlight impacts us well it's important to understand and to go through the long winter months and being aware of it ever since that happened two winters ago i started taking my doses of vitamin d to get through the winter and it helps a lot okay but this goes way further actually recent studies showed that the brain because of this lack of vitamin d because of this lack of neurogenesis the brain during the winter shrinks a little bit hey what are you doing hey stop it hey you're messing up here come on we're not talking 50%, right? It's just a couple of percentage points. But still, during the winter months, we'll see a slight atrophy of the brain, which increases again in the spring. But it, there is a real seasonal impact on our brain, which uh, we cannot underestimate. Well, it's a little late, of course, for me to say that now in springtime, because now it's over and now everything goes fine. However, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere and you're starting to go towards wintertime, well, then you know that you should really be mindful of that anyway don't worry because once we reach september october i'll be talking about this topic again and uh, reminding you to be mindful of your vitamin d right now just enjoy this one take it in take it in after this 
long winter months because it's really good. By the way, there was a study also for the summer months that if you put too much sun cream on, blocking the sun out, it will have the same effect. So sun is important to us. We need it. Now, of course, don't get out there in the summer months at midday and get the UV maximum exposure because that will burn your skin and will be bad for you. However, don't go to the opposite extreme. It's not because they're just like a little bit of sunlight that you have to block it out with sun cream and uh, with the maximum number. So don't go there because that's not good either. We do need sun. We do need the sunlight. We do need the vitamin D coming from the sun. But again, now it's time to enjoy this lovely, beautiful weather. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want the real stuff, go to brainacademy.com. Join over 200,000 students and learn how to use your brain better. Brain out. Sharp.